Have you noticed something different in Microsoft Forms lately? The interface got a major makeover. Whether you're creating a survey, quiz, or a quick poll, today's Forms experience is faster, cleaner, and easier to use. In this video, I'll walk you through what's new in Microsoft Forms and how you can take advantage of the latest features to create polished and professional forms in minutes. And if you've been following my series on working with Microsoft Forms, this video gives you some helpful updates to make the most of my form series. Check out the description below for links to my other Microsoft Forms videos. Let's start at the beginning, the home page. Right away, you'll notice a simplified, more modern layout. Your content is now grouped into these tabs. Recent, My Forms, Filled Forms, Shared With Me, and Favorites. This makes it easier to organize and find your forms. To get started, you would either choose New Form or New Quiz. These buttons are simply larger and easier to find at the top. And the bonus tip is you can now mark frequently used forms as a favorite for quick access. For example, to mark this survey as a favorite, I'll simply move to the three dots or more options and choose favorite. It will now display in the favorites area. So favorites is the updated concept to pinning a form or an object. Let's go back here to recent. These are just simply forms or surveys, quizzes that have recently been created. If for any reason there was something that you wanted to remove from this list, once again, our three dots or more options, and we could remove it from recent, along with the options, of course, to favorite it or to even copy that form survey quiz to be able to create another one. But what about probably the most important part, and that is, what does it look like when we're building a new form or quiz? So we'll start with new form, and you'll see that the interface is more modern and hopefully more intuitive. So each one of these question types now appears in this kind of hard style layout, so it becomes really easy to select. Let's say in this new form, I'll simply click in here as before. So now I want to get back to my question types. I'll simply click here, and my most common one here is choice. The key here is that the makeover is not dramatic, and it shouldn't impact your ability to easily create surveys or quizzes. It's simply that the interface is hopefully a little bit more intuitive for you. And as we had before, I can make this into multiple answers, and I'll take a few moments to complete this. Continue adding options. And now we can move forward, adding other questions, for instance. Here I'll add a rating. As you continue, you might also see AI suggested questions based upon your form title. And here we can see those suggestions. These can speed up the process. You just click to add those if you want to. That is, what are some other things that I may want to add to this form? And as we're surveying Contoso employees, you can see that those are specific to that context. Now I'll close. As before, it's easy to reorder those questions and even to duplicate them if you want to create a variation of that question in the survey. And if you want to work with the preset layout, the templates option is right here. That is, we could still build off of a template while we're in this forms interface. For now, I'll close this. Once I've completed my questions, as before, we have our settings option. So this interface at the top has simply been redesigned to hopefully make it easier to work with. So the gear icon is for settings, and this is where we can then adjust, for instance, who can respond. Do I have a time frame for completing the responses? Any other limitations I might want to place on this survey. The updated style section gives us a few more options now for how we can control the look of our form. What's the initial layout? So we can experiment with some of these options. Or maybe you want something that stands out a little bit more. And we can even have animation at this point. If you want to customize, let's say with a corporate or an event theme or branding, 
Then under the customize section here, you can add your own images and customize the color. So not only the image, but the color background. Once we've made a selection here and close out of your styles, and we still have the preview options where we can view the form, not only as it shows up on our desktop, but also mobile. And we'll return. We'll come back here to forms because this is an, another way that we can explore templates. These are not new in Microsoft Forms, but you may find that the way that they are organized makes it easier for you to be able to quickly pick a style and type a form. So here I've picked feedback. You can see some of the different options here. Let's say I pick this employee satisfaction. The key here is that the questions are already populated. We can certainly customize what they say, delete those questions that don't apply, and we have a really good starting place right now. And because this template interface is available on the left-hand side, we don't have to exit out to make a change. Let's say, for instance, instead I wanted this to be a little bit different structure or look, or I want a completely different type of form. All of these would be possibilities just from this templates panel. How Microsoft Forms handles responses and results has also gotten a little bit of a makeover. Let's hop into this survey. We can see it has two responses. Here is the initial survey. As before, if we want to control how we collect responses, here we have that option. Let's see what's changed when we view our responses. When people start responding to your form, you'll see the results in this really easy to read format. So the charts are cleaner and more visual and the summaries make it feel a little bit more like a dashboard and it's easy to see our results right in front of us. Now, if you wanna dig into the data as before, we could open those results in Excel if we wanted to really dig into that data. And if you need to share results with others, simply move to the three dots once again, and here I can share a summary link with others. Microsoft Forms continues to be a simple yet powerful tool for surveys, quizzes, and more. And now I think it's even easier to use. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more quick tips on Microsoft 365. You can also visit thesoftwarepro.com slash forms to explore additional resources and sign up for my free productivity tips newsletter. Thanks for watching.